So this is Vertigo Jam, and it was sort of uh, promoting the Vertigo uh, titles for DC Comics, right? Uh, louder than noise, and I believe they put out something before this as well. This is Vertigo Jam number one, uh, but I think there was another one they put out, uh, sort of a Vertigo mishmash of things. Okay. Uh, we're gonna skip and this is the sandman the sandman story was really good as well okay so sandman and it goes through boing, 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 boing. Uh, milligan mckeever extremists and it very good story very good story okay and then we got john constantine hellblazer black orchids fantastic read okay you go through and it's got animal man in here too animal this one was really good it was a toss-up between reading this one animal man okay really liked it um and then there's doom patrol and doom patrol tv series is super good um and then swamp thing was a great read as well i really liked this one but then i decided to go with uh, Kid Attorney was really cool too. This is Kid Attorney. Dude. Okay. I like Kid Attorney. Very trippy. Very weird. But we're going to read Shade. A uh, little promo uh, that they were pushing. Okay. So this is uh, 1993. Written by Peter Milligan. And art by Mike alred right um okay huge 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 madman comic books right so let's have a little look at the panel division right there's a guy lying at the tree bike right and these are the two main uh, three main characters in the shade story arc uh the series that's shade right there and then his two sidekicks <laughs> to a certain degree you'll find out who they are you'll find out who they are okay so the story starts off let's see if we can get this thing focused the ambulance should be here in five minutes there was a gas station half a mile down the road and they let me use their phone how is he not good in fact not good at all in fact he died about three minutes ago she says and that's jenny and the other one is uh oh man name's kathy i believe okay we'll confirm that as the story goes and this is the dead person laid down on the foot of the tree big smile on his face yeah. shade and just so you know uh, it's good to know shade is actually pretty much insane right in a weird way in a cool way oh he looks happy he's smiling she says of course he's smiling shade shade the illusionist made sure of that she says i don't understand i don't understand is this going to disgust me she says and then shade replies all i did was give him what he wished for a little um Massa massaging of reality so it conformed to what he wanted i gave him a vision that's the what's the harm in that shade replies the harm in that father williams died believing a lie she says father williams he regained consciousness, Shade replies. 
just before he lost it for good. He said he had a history of heart problems. That's not the only thing he had a history of, she says. She's not very happy. Well, I think Lenny is wrong and it was it was a very nice thing you did shade you gave him some comfort no matter how how strong his faith was he must have had some fear as his death approached she says shade So what if it was uh, an ex-Nazi we found dying here? Do we get Shade to give him a vision of the New, uh, Nuremberg rally just to make his passing a little more pleasant? How about if I hum, hummed some Wagner? Lenny says. That's not the same Lenny. my grandmother died when i was 14 14 and on her deathbed she asked everyone whether they thought there was a god and a heaven even though most of them didn't believe it everyone said yes lenny says Except you, of course. Lenny replies, No, I was a coward too. I said, Of course, Grandma. There's a God and a heaven, and Grandpa will be waiting for you there. I felt sick afterwards. When I die, I don't want lies, Lenny says. But Lenny, but Lenny, you're getting this out of proportion he was an old man she says he was a priest and he spent his entire life feeding people pie in in the sky he didn't deserve to have it confirmed particularly after what he told us Hold on, what did he tell you? She asks. I think he was, uh, what's the term? Confessing his sins, Shade says. And one thing you should know about Shade, his origin is from another planet, another realm. And the realm is called Meta. So he's not familiar with all the traditions of Earth. Okay. But he only had a few minutes, so he probably just sc scraped the barrel when he says. Look at the guy's face. Great artwork. Alred. Shade says, when his eyes opened, he looked up at us. He held Lenny's hand and started to talk about his life. He'd been a priest for most of it. And then we go to the past a few minutes. The priest is talking. It's been a terrible and wicked life I've led, the priest said. Keep quiet and save your strength, Lenny replies. Our friend has gone to get help. No, 
the priest replies. I have to say this while I have the chance. I was on my way to confession, finally to say the truth. I won't make it now. You're, you'll, you're all I have. We're not really qualified, Lenny replies. That doesn't matter, the priest says. Listen, I've been weak. I've been a disgrace to the church, the cloth, to our Lord himself. Uh, I mean, hey, you can't have <laughs> been that bad, Lenny replies. priest don't you believe it girl guess how many m women I've had no don't guess I'll tell you 32 32 15 of those were married one one was only 16 he says Oh my God, I've been so, so wicked. I stole money from the collection box and gambled it all on horses. I drank like a fish and smoked like a chimney, but it was the women. I was the, it was the women who were my weakness, the priest says. Oh God, the women. And the worst is I use my position of trust of authority to seduce them not that some of them weren't past seducing me of course god no but i was the one who was ultimately responsible the priest says <laughs> lenny calm and cool lights up a cigarette she's a chain smoker the priest continues and then i'd stand up and rant about chastity and the sanctity of marriage shit none of us are perfect uh, Lenny says you're you're being ironic good be as hard as you like I don't deserve kindness the priest says But why have I been so bad? Have I been testing him? Oh, is that it? Have I been saying, hey, God, if you're up there, you should be striking me down with lightning for what, I've, what I'm getting up to. Is that what I was doing? The priest says. Maybe you just liked having sex with women. As simple as that, Shade replies. You're right. I'm trying to explain away my less, less, less viciousness. But, but if only he'd struck me down, if only he'd punished me in some way, the priest says. <laughs> but no, I've lived a charmed life. All that uh, fornication and drunkenness and gambling, and I never once got caught. I've uh, prospered. I'm 89 and have never had a day's illness in my life apart from the odd heart murmur. He sunk, he sunk into a kind of a sleep then. We thought he died. But then his eyes were open again. Ah, oh, he's crying. He was weeping. He was really crying. His, his, uh, his eyes out. Hypocritical old lecher, Lenny says. Boy, 
talk about carrying a heavy load she comes she comes in right Anyway, now you see why he didn't deserve any illusions. I wouldn't have minded him being uh, rep reprobate so long as he hadn't chastised others for being reprobates all his life. I don't know, she says. I think in some way it was an even nicer gesture knowing what he must have been going through yeah that's what i thought shade said by now he was getting weaker he was rambling on and on about his sins but it was hard to follow i just caught an occasional reference to naked flesh and the ten commandments He was slipping away fast, but he could still see. So I thought, why not? Why not help the poor old bastard on his way out? His eyes started to light up as I went to work with my madness. There was a brightness in them and all the worry and all the guilt seemed to fade away as he gazed at the vision I was making for him. <laughs> I mean, I know it was wrong. But why not give a dying man what he wants? Satan. He's being punished. Look at him. He's so happy. Yes. well he didn't he didn't deserve it that's what i'm saying that's that's what i say look at that smile he looks so smug and self-satisfied i think he just looks very peaceful says at the end that ambulance has taken his time isn't it the end that's one of the shade stories on a it's it's the humor in shade is fantastic by the way it's dark um, there's very heavy topics in shade the changing man which we're about to look at for issue number what's this one barbecue toad we're going to take a look at just a few pages from dc's vertigo uh shade the changing man number 49 okay <laughs> 